Sonic the Hedgehog Tree. Oh, okay. Casino Zone. You had this fucking platform that bounced when you jumped on it. Right. Yeah. I didn't know for years. <laughs> I'm not joking. Literal years. That all you had to do was when you're on this platform, you just press up and down on the D-pad. And it the, will actually to get move. It to go it. higher or, yeah. or move. All right. Yeah. It will yeah. actually move it up and down enough that you can get under it. Mm. Because this particular platform is blocking your way forward. Yeah. And I've actually spent like I spent a good bit of my childhood like trying to get through this. Like myself, my mother, like because she used to play these as well. And she couldn't figure it out either. This wasn't told. It wasn't until like years later. Like I'm an adult. And it's so easy to forget how good we have it now, where literally mm. you're stuck at a bit, you can whip out your phone. Yeah. And within 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 two minutes, yeah. you'll you'll pretty much know what you have to do. Unless you're playing some weird obscure game. But then like I can't stress it enough, and it may it does make us feel so ancient. Like you, you didn't have that luxury. You no. just did not no. have that luxury. You had to it was a game guide. Which you had to buy from from a news agent. Yep. Yeah. If the, if, if they had, had it, it in in my little small town. Now you may have had it better because you were in Dublin, but um, it was tough to get them. Now it was all uh, PlayStation because PlayStation was such a worldwide phenomenon. Mm. I I think every news agent's kind of carried uh, like it was a bit more accessible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think every news agent's had some sort of PlayStation magazine, but Pretty even much, then. Yeah. And the PlayStation magazine, you had to hope that they were talking about that particular game and that particular issue. Mm. Or else you had to like find one that was particularly like that what had walkthroughs for several games or some shit and you'd buy that. Um, but there was no uh, just hopping online and figuring shit out. You had to no. sit down and literally go months. And sometimes you would get so fed up that you just would not play it anymore. Yeah. Like That's what you'd happened just, with me. You'd just be like, yeah. Have uh, you ever been I, tempted to go back and, and give it another shot? Boxing. I did. I, I I cleared it. And how uh, good did it, how good did it feel? Oh man, just to <laughs> get by that. I'm not even joking. Like so, like <laughs> smash the controller down. Fuck you! No, I'm not even joking. Like for years, like I didn't know how to do it, and I just said, "Fuck it!" Like I'm gonna play through this again, but this time when I get to it, I'm gonna look it up because now, like, guaranteed, other people have had this problem, and I wasn't wrong. A lot mm -hmm. of people had the same issue, but. I cannot express the joy of <laughs> actually being able to finally just get by that. Let Didn't alone, care about like, doing the rest of it. Just get past that, yeah. But like just getting past that that section, I, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it was that bittersweet one because like I was so happy with it, but I was also really fucking pissed that it was that simple. Yeah. To, and apparently that's in the game manual. Oh, it's the same thing, I think, with the Psycho Mantis thing. I think it's actually hinted somewhere either on in the manual or something on how to do it. Mm. But it mm. wasn't until, like, literally, again, months of playing this thing stuck and, like, slowly, slowly taking down his health. Like, I was nearly beating him with the controller in the main yeah. board. You can't do it. The, like, you can't, you there can't way do, to do it, it but yeah. it wasn't easy. No. Um and like you're talking about this boss fight was lasting hours because yeah. I was doing it wrong. And mm. uh, but I was trying it and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is so difficult. Like yeah. what the fuck? And eventually he told me, and I, I, I remember thinking that he was joking mm. because no game had that. That was weird. Why would you plug your controller into port two? That's that's odd. That is Why the so fuck odd, would yeah. you do that? That's so weird. But then it was also a case of ah, what's the harm giving it a shot? And then suddenly you do it and you're like, oh my fucking God. Yeah. It's all so much <laughs> easier now. And you're like, yes, die, motherfucker. Even with so the than you. I had yeah, I had that in uh so I uh had that with Rayman 2. Um, oh, okay. So uh as with every fucking platformer game, they always had to have an underwater level, which is uh Thankfully, not in the first game because Rayman died if he ever touched the water, which is uh, pretty much how what happens with me. But um, uh, with two, uh, there was a level called Whale Bay, and uh, a good percentage of it is was basically swimming level. 
Um, but the like Rayman, like like if you probably guys have played it, like it's a very slower, it's a slower paced platformer than the likes of your Sonics and Mario's. It's a lot more. So, tactical. so much weird how, how Rayman ended up like Ray, <laughs> Raymond. I just call him Raymond. Raymond. Like his name is, Raymond. His, his name is David Raymond. David um, Raymond. No. Um, yeah, compared like, to Origins, like, like, yeah, like suppose, Jonathan yeah. Batman. Um, yes. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, r- like Rayman Origins and stuff is like pretty fast paced. Oh, it's fun. It's you know? so much fun. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of fun. But how yeah. it started off was very different. It is very different. Um, but the, with the second game, there's a it, it is Whale Bay because uh, for a good percentage of the level, um, you have to basically follow a whale through an underwater cavern. So you're holding your breath the entire time, and you're given kind of like a uh, auction bubbles to uh to to work with so you can get like ones that are just kind of just there generally but the whale provides oxygen bubbles as well so you get to them and you refill your 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 breath your your breathing bar and so forth the difference is though there's two piranhas who are competing with you for those same uh, bubbles and i guarantee you i'd say for about two to three months if not longer because i didn't own this at the time this is my cousin's uh, playstation so i was only getting a chance of this once a week so for about three three months, right, on and off, I was trying to clear this level and trying to beat the piranhas to the uh, to the bubbles, right? And they just keep somehow clipping me and then I'd lose pace and then I'd, 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 I'd die then after that. Constantly, constantly, constantly. I thought it was terrible at the game. But here's the thing. I accidentally pressed the punch button, right? And lo and behold, if you do it, if you time it right, you swat the piranhas away. Ah. It took me three months to realize that. And the reason it did was because the first time I fluked it and got through without doing it, and the memory card didn't save. Oh uh, no! It was a power cut, actually, as I recall. So, uh... so uh, because it wasn't even that. It was just like once I had got it right the first time, and I, then I had the whole night to myself. So I realized, oh my god, this game is is actually more than five levels. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. A whole new world. <laughs> like I wouldn't even have, but like that same level is one of the first bosses. Okay, yeah. literally after that sequence, I'm going like, "Holy fuck, this is actually completely new!" And then I started, I and then in the space of like two sessions, two nights, essentially, I cleared the entire game, and it's like just like that was the hardest part of the game. The rest of it was a fucking breeze because mm, I think yeah, the end, I had uh, just like got myself, well, like worked myself up to such a level where everything else was a fucking formality, except for the final level, which is a cunt. Man, all but the games otherwise... were fucking brutal, man. They were, they were fucking the first, brutal. The first Rayman game, I would maintain, is the hardest PS1 game you could play. Outside it... of something like maybe Medieval, which is a tough bar. I medieval mean, the first medieval is now, fucking difficult. Yeah. yeah. Like, man, they were brutal. Yeah. Like, they were unforgiving. Yeah. Because um, you have to 100% there, there wasn't... Rayman, the actual game, to get the final level. Yeah, the hundred percent. Oh like, no, that's, like, that's like, cruel. I mean, they were brutal. They were unforgiving. There was, there was fucking. I mean, um, like now, don't get me wrong, um, like I like, um, games with a challenge. Like yeah. I don't like to be able to breeze through. Like there's certain times I think I've said this before where I like to just relax, turn off my brain, and play something like Lego, mm. um, or something like that because you know, non thinky. Okay, grand. Mm-hmm. Just mindlessly press square. Yeah. Um. But then there are games that I still like a bit of a challenge. But there's a bit of a challenge, and there's my fucking god, man. What? Like, like that, that was the first Rayman game. Like, was this, it, like is, this is cruelty. Like you know, yeah. like because you could game. go to like a certain level of uh, certain like a few levels where like it's all nice and easy and it's nice, pleasant. Yeah. Everyone's happy, and then you reach Bandland, you go fuck. There's difficulty curve. <laughs> the closest I had to it recently, and I'm sure people watching this wouldn't agree. Well, no, they would agree because it's an it's an objectively difficult fucking game. Was Cuphead? Yeah, yeah. but that's that's a callback to those games, though. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's 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 purposely designed that way. Mm. But it's also fucking like playing it. It just it brought back like being a child and going, oh my fucking god, I want to put my fucking controller through the television. <laughs> but you, you get yeah. to the uh, you like. And it showed you your progress as well. So you'd see, like, I was just like, I I had just fucking beaten them. Mm. I just fucking beaten them. And you're going to make me go do all that again, you absolute fucking pricks. Yeah. It's like, and as well, there's stuff like um, you'll play games and, like, I'll see, like, some people on forums and stuff saying, like, and there's no autosave. So, uh, like, it's so unforgiving. It's like, bitch, that was how it was. Yeah, welcome to our world. Yeah, like, um, that's how it passcodes? fucking was. Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Passcodes were the worst. 
Especially like, for Rayman, like, I had to keep those fucking bats. Yeah, yeah. Had, uh, do you remember, um, like WWF Attitude and stuff like and Warzone? Yeah. Where you had to have, um, you'd have to figure out how to do a finisher. Yeah. Mm. And so I had a little book with everybody's finisher like sequence written down in it. Yeah. And then like you'd find somebody else that might have somebody else's fucking finisher figured out and you'd, you'd like copy it in and shit like that stuff i did that somewhere. with mortal kombat yeah mortal kombat is where i needed like especially with fatality it's like how do i fucking do this how do i do the yeah. special moves i was literally yeah. taking down like each character's like like special moves mm. but second ninja gaiden is a good example of that like oh jesus yeah, yeah it's easy for like probably the first maybe second level and then Bam, boss battle on your fuck. But then, like, even now, I consider myself a very seasoned gamer now at this stage. Like, I, I play games a lot. Like, not every day anymore because I'm busy, but, like, mm. um, I'd still be playing games once or, t- like, at least twice a week. I'll sit down yeah. and I'll play for a few hours. Um, But even now, if I went back to some of those games, like, while I'll do a I'll do better. They'll still get the better of me in the end. They're mm. still like, ooh, they're. I, I I had that with um with Earthworm Jim because I got it for the yeah. um I I think it's on the Switch I think or or something on those lines, um and I just tried it out then and just the first level was like oh fuck this is impenetrable like but like yeah. that's that's a game that is objectively a cruel bastard from the start and everybody tells you oh we're gonna fuck you over because it's a it's pissy. like fucking yeah. Ghosts and Goblins Ghosts and Goblins yeah good yeah. Um, or whatever, there were several names for it. You know the one I'm talking yeah, about. I do, I do. Um, like that's that's widely regarded as, as I think. I think of her several places. That was like that's the most difficult game of all time. It is because like you think you completed um, it, but it was a trick, and you have to do the whole game again. The in whole reverse. the whole game again in reverse. Um, yeah, and like that. Oh my god! Talk about unforgivingly difficult. Like mm. that. Jesus fucking Christ. Like it, it, um, but it's it, it's funny when you're saying like that that kind of thing about the like coming back to a game now and 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 realizing it's kind of more difficult because I've recently played Ocarina of Time for the first for the for the first time ever like because I was in there I wasn't a Nintendo kid I was a Sony kid yeah okay this, I, I actually this will make a lot of people that yeah I've never played Ocarina of Time yeah so like if you don't if you don't have Nintendo then you've never played it you know but so that's I, it, I, I was a Sega kid oh well then so like so you, you, know? you know what you know how I feel there with this thing Same. yeah but. But it's the but the aspect of it was that um because we started off the playthrough on the N sixty four, but I just like it, like I'm just used to such a symmetrical controller with the with the PlayStation and like just having a button here, button there, and the fucking awful stick here is like oh this is all terrible, this yeah. is all shit. Who the fuck designed this thing? And, and, <laughs> and I've only recently like, all of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um. So then we switched it over to GameCube, and I was thinking like, oh, it's actually, but this is substantially better. But then it's also those kind of like those things that are in the game that quality of life changes have taken out of future games. You know, like 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 Ocarina of Time of like has died in the sword on its own sword, so that other better games can can um, can do better. So like mm-hmm. the fact that like when you get to the end of a ledge and they can just suddenly just jump for no fucking reason, it's like no no, I will tell you when to jump, dickhead. <laughs> you don't fucking decide, right? I will tell you when to jump, you cunt. And the targeting and all these different things, like it's just it was a fucking wreck the head. Um but uh but like I said, just like I found it so hard to play. Like I know it's objectively one of the best games ever made and all this sort of shit, and I still maintain to this day that uh a bit of that is Stockholm syndrome because you're all fucking traumatized about how mm-hmm. bad the, the water level the water temple was. I you cannot fucking argue against me on this one. Mm-hmm. You're all fucking traumatized in Stockholm syndrome. But at the same time, it's because I'm used to those stupid mistakes being uh, corrected out now. Whereas yeah. like now that I'm going back to a game with all the imperfections in it, it's just like, oh, this is just terrible. Like yeah. this is just bad design. Like one of the what was the uh, the the bosses in the spirit level, the spirit temple, the two witches, and like you can aim at them, but your mirror doesn't work when you're aiming. It's just like who the fuck thought that was a good idea? But like if you aim at them and you're with your mirror. It doesn't work, but you have to free wheel the fucking mirror in their directions. Like, who the fuck tried that out and thought that was a good idea? That the actual to aim a mirror at them, you don't actually aim at them. I was like, what? I actually played one I played recently because for some reason it was it was it was available on PlayStation. Um, 
uh, like as a classic or something like that was mm. one I played a lot when I was a kid was Flashback. Do you play Flashback? I do. I did play Flashback. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's that. That's a tough game. I but I love Flashback. I uh, there's something really, very very retro about re- it. I I re- really retro looking, but even at the time, and it took mm-hmm. you know what it holds up to a degree now. The the fact that it was um. Like that hand drawn kind of movement where they the actually like like yeah. like pre- yeah like Prince of Persia where they actually mm. like drew over an actual person doing the movements like yes made it difficult you know yeah. with with timing jumps and because you're, you're like going that. frame by frame yeah yeah mm. um but God it made it look gorgeous yeah um that was um that was the same with uh, another world which is one of my favorite uh, retro games like that because again you'll probably know from playing on the Sega. Um and then the ep- the sequel which is uh Mark of the Beast or something like that. I can't remember. But basically, like another world is where you're playing as the human in that game, and then you come across an alien on this uh on this world you've been jumped into, and Mark of the Beast is the same game, but play from his perspective. Mm. As it's like that is just a genius idea, but really, the thing really is, good. But the wonderful thing about another world is that like it recognizes that it doesn't have the technology to do voice acting or to do anything more complex with story. So let's make a game where literally there is no dialogue, there is no characters, because you are a human that's been transported onto another onto a onto an alien world. You, you can't speak to them. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you don't understand what's going on. Literally the first sequence when you jump in, right? You, you come out of the, the sea or whatever it is, and essentially you're like you're chased by a lion immediately and you're going like, what the fuck is going on? There's a genuine act of panic here going like, I'm running. I don't know why I'm just running. And that is just such like, again, that is just minimal waste in to get the game across the game's point across. Spe- uh, speaking of weird, actually, no, this is a slight um, change. I don't know why, but it just we- we- weirdness just maybe pop it popped into my head. So, um, I, 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 I messaged, um, second wife this mm-hmm. day uh, the other morning um because this was legitimately a dream i had mm-hmm. and i i woke up and go and went what the fuck is wrong with me right because that's how confusing the dream was and this is legitimately what happened in the dream right so i'm going to read it out to you okay um I, i'm speaking about me and her in this by the way so it's so we're on space titanic right as you do as you do. Right. Me and you. And we go up in an elevator to where there's a very posh party happening. And we go to the bar and we're very excited because there's loads of cocktails on the menu. Right. Oh, also, it's the end of the world. Don't know how we know that. It just is apparently so. Shut up. Um, One of the fancy men is angry because his canopy is stale. Uh, and then she makes a point of eating said canopy and saying how delicious it is to piss him off more, which let's be fair. That's, that's, that's believable. She would do yeah, that. That, 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 that um, sounds like yeah. And he gets all angry. And so then, you know, you know, me manly man, you know, get all threatening with him or whatever. Um, anyway, Philip Schofield arrives and starts using weird mind powers to kill everybody by like shooting lasers out of his head and just zapping people in the head and they die. Uh, so we run away and that's it. My literal last line in it is, I think I might be sick. This isn't normal, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, normal, people normally don't dream of Philip Schofield, yeah. uh, Dennis, no. Especially ones I, that are I laser. Wore, I wasn't even watching anything to do with it. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> he was just always there, Dennis. Did you just have bad uh a bad batch or something but no does... not even that night i i mean I, I i thought honestly it was so weird i thought had i eaten a load of cheese or something yeah but maybe but i n- think i'm blind <laughs> yeah it, it was yeah. really fucking weird so much so literally the first thing i woke literally it was one of those times i don't know if you had where i woke up and went what the fuck was that it wasn't a, like a you know the times you wake up and sometimes you're like was that real or whatever? This was just mm. what the fuck? What mm. did I just dream? And so I just I yeah I had to message that straight away because that was one of the weirdest ones I'd ever had. Yeah, I'm really glad I wrote it down because I would have forgotten it. That's yeah. That's you. You, oh, you yeah. and Amy are competing for like having the weirdest fucking dreams. Like <laughs> you have. Fin- she has gentle knuckles in hers. 
you've got Philip Schofield in yours. There's different levels going on here. Like, <laughs> I'd much prefer Jensen Eccles. I mean, yeah, you probably like, like, you know, things, yeah. <laughs> even in uh, the context that Amy probably has him, I'd still prefer him. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Uh, let, let me fill you back in what's going on because we're back at the plot here. So we we're having dinner we're and having it was terrible. Dinner. Yeah, Do a we'll, synopsis we'll be... and then we will. We're, we're going to wrap it up for the evening because I'm going to yes. go to bed. Well, this is actually quite a good hook here for our, uh, for our um, cliffhanger. So we went to Ed's house, found out that his uh, his adopted son Mark was uh, basically. The I was son actually of I was actually reading that whole thing while it was happening while yeah. they were at the dinner while they were at the dinner table. Mm. Yes, and like how all the food was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> and how it was saying how it was made from like eggshells now and shit like that. Yeah, it's it's because mm-hmm. it's an their... artificial salt. Hmm. Uh, basically, yeah. because um, they need more calcium and phosphorus to uh, yeah. yep. to keep the wife's face. It's basically shit. But essentially, um, we have an informant called Nine Stars who knows about the capsules. He wants to give us information, and he's going to meet us here at the uh, um, the uh, Astronaut Memorial Museum uh, on on Beyond. So he's going to meet us basically where the Pioneer Shuttle is. Um, and again, here are some actual genuine rockets that uh, they they brought moved out to Beyond for the museum, which is nice. And um, so, yeah, that's that's where we leave him for now. And uh, we'll see what Nine Stars has to say next week. Good night, everybody. Boom, bitches. <laughs>